Okay, so now we want to get our other ingredients. So you want about a half a cup of basil. And my personal feeling is more basil, more better. Basil has some incredible polyphenols that benefit your mood, benefit your heart. Uh, I can't tell you how much basil I consume. And you don't have to chop this very finely. Uh, just about that is just fine. So now we're going to take our other fry pan and we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. So you're going to start with about three tablespoons of olive oil. And you're going to put in some salt, about a teaspoon of salt. We can always add more, and one thing to remember, we're going to use fish sauce. And fish sauce is really salty, so you've got to be careful with it. Then we're going to put in some red pepper, not red pepper flakes, but like cayenne pepper, which has had the seeds removed. We're going to use the equivalent of two cloves of garlic chopped. You can buy it already chopped, which is fine. So then we're going to add some broccoli slaw. Now this isn't essential, but I'm such a big fan of cruciferous vegetables. Plus this gives an extra nice little crunchy texture to what we're making. So in goes the broccoli slaw, about a half a cup, a cup. And then we've got some fresh squeezed lime juice. And we're going to put in about a tablespoon, about a, a whole lime's worth in. And then finally, we're going to put in the shrimp and get yourself some wild shrimp. Make sure it says wild. They're available either fresh or frozen in most grocery stores. They should be peeled and deveined, but leave the tails on. That's authentic, and I'll tell you why we're going to leave them on in a minute. So in they go. Fantastic. And we're going to stir that around for a little bit. We're going to add the basil. Have some for yourself while you're waiting. So we're going to cook this for about two to three minutes until the shrimp begin to get opaque. Okay. So next, we're going to put back our noodles and we're going to add an egg. And get yourself an omega-3 or pastured egg they're in every store. Please don't use commercial eggs. They'll, they're loaded with problems that you don't want. The chickens have been fed corn and soybeans. So we're going to throw in that egg and we're going to stir that around for just a second. And then we're going to put back in the noodles. Okay, so those shrimp are getting nice and, and uh, opaque. So now we're going to take our shirataki noodles, our miracle noodles, and they've nicely dried out. And we're just going to kind of reheat the noodles. We're going to let the noodles absorb some of this flavor. And we're just about ready. Last but not least, we're going to add some fish sauce. Now, be careful with fish sauce. A little goes a long way. I would start with a teaspoon. You can work up to a tablespoon, but I like to start with, say, a teaspoon to a couple teaspoons and then taste it. Quite frankly, this is actually what makes great Thai and Vietnamese cooking taste the way it does. There's no gluten in here. There's no soy. It's basically aged anchovies that have been aged in wooden barrels. So we're going to let that kind of burn off. Now at this point, you might want to taste things. I personally add more fish sauce, but I've gotten used to fish sauce over the years. So start with a little and work your way up. So lastly, in my original book, uh, Dr. Gundry's Diet Evolution, I used peanuts. And quite honestly, I've learned that peanuts are one of the worst things that you should be eating. They're full of lectins. So I've substituted macadamia nuts. In fact, you can take any recipe from my original book and make them the plant paradox compatible. And so macadamia nuts are going on now. About a oh, quarter of a cup, four tablespoons will be just fine. 
and we're ready to go. So you can plate that out. You can put it in either kind of traditional pad thai bowls. And I like to pour a little sauce over that. Oh my gosh. Is it dinner time yet? I think it is. I better try this. Okay. So here we have it. Not bad pad thai. This has got ingredients that will actually improve your health, help you lose weight, and it feeds good gut bugs. Now I'm going to cut this a little bit. So there's our pad thai. I'm going to make a mess in a second. Eh, I'll eat like an Asian. Mmm. Perfect. Now, what about those tails? Those tails are there for a purpose. Number one, they're to hold on to the shrimp, but more importantly, you're supposed to eat it. The tail, the shell of shrimp, is one of the best lecting absorbing compounds there are. And so, eat the whole shrimp. It won't hurt you. It's a little bit crunchy. Bon appetit. So this is Dr. Gundry for Gundry MD, and I'm always looking out for you. Have some pad thai that's not bad for you. Hmm. Love the crunch. Let me tell you about Miracle Noodles and why they're awesome. These are zero-calorie noodles that sound too good to be true. 